circumstances of how everything happened when we have two quarterbacks go down and dang near our whole offense is pretty beat up, you know, it's kind of one of those things where you just got to take it and kind of move along. Uh, so, you know, we kind of just took it with a grain of salt. You know, it sucked to not be able to help my team as much as I could, but, you know, that's why I'm uh, rehab my butt off to get back this week because we have a big game and uh, I didn't want to miss this one and I wasn't gonna, wasn't gonna miss this one even if uh, I was a little bit more banged up than I was so I'm excited to be back. How do you guys stay up as a group when so many people are hurt? Um, I think it's just like you know controlling we control. I mean you can't control injuries, you can't control what happens. You know all you can do is prepare and you know trust the guy that behind them is going to get the job done. So you know we have a lot of young guys that are having to step up right now, and uh, you know I think they're doing a great job. And you know our scout team is you know we're pretty depleted just in terms of scout and stuff like that. But guys are you know coming out here fighting every day and practicing their butt offs for us. So you know the least we can do is you know everybody work hard as a group collectively. And I think that's just something that Dilly brought with this culture is like this is a team. This isn't just a group of guys that are like all oh, whatever about each other. Like we care about. Everyone gets injured, but we know it's time for the next guy to step up. No, I haven't. <laughs> Man, I, I mean, even me being injured, I'm not really used to that either. And I mean, I know I take a bunch of hits, but you know, it's just one of those things. I mean, it's college football; it happens. You know, injuries happen. You know, everything can. You know, everything can snowball in a hurry. But you know, I think we're doing a great job in the training room. There's a lot of guys in the training room right now, just even getting rehab or. You know, if even not getting that, just any nicks and bangs, like they're trying to get better, you know. So I think we're doing a great job of trying to prevent it right now, but it's just, it is what it is, so we're just going to take it and move forward. Does adversity like this bring teams together, Jalen, do you think? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, it, it makes it more fun. You know, we get to go play USC on Saturday with a team that's pretty banged up. Like, how fun would it be to go say that, like, oh, this is a team that's beat up, that was hurting, and we went and beat, you know, one of the top five teams in the country. So, mm -hmm. you know, that's kind of just our mindset. You know, we're in the conference play now, and that's what's important. You know, this is the games that really matter to us. We, considering everything going on so you know we're excited to get back out there even if we are banged up but we're, we'll be ready to go. Does this feel like a thing for you where it's going to be hard to ever get back to 100% this fall? Um, no, I think we'll be good. I think like you know you individually, like, me. Injury, yeah. no, I'm good. I mean, I'll, shoot, I'd play at 50. You know, wouldn't, I'm gonna make it to where y'all couldn't tell. So you know, I'm I'm excited. I'm ready to go. I mean, I feel good running out here today and moving around and getting getting back going again. So well, I'm just gonna get my conditioning back up. So I'm gonna be running a little bit extra just to you know get that back. But other than that, I feel good. You know, I'm ready to go. You know, last week I wanted to when everyone was getting hurt, I asked the doctor if I could go suit up at halftime, and he told me no. So, <laughs> but uh, I saw a couple other guys got too bad. Get to, so I, you know, I'm excited to be back this week for sure. You know, talking about obviously next guy up, but to see I mean, Jacob come in a situation like that, both guys go down. Just what you think of? I mean, it's tough for him. What you think of his performance? Was he calm? How did he see? Yeah, I mean, he did a great job of fighting. You know, at the end of the day, you know, I mean, he's the. Not that, I mean, this is not, he's going to be ready to go regardless, but when you're the fourth, third string quarterback, you're not necessarily thinking you're going to get to go in the game. So, you know, he did a great job, you know, obviously, you know, he didn't get any, you don't, he don't get a lot of, he didn't get a lot of reps in practice. So, you know, that's a part of it. So, you know, he tried it best he could, you know, obviously there were some turnovers. How many turnovers we have? Eight? Yeah, golly, if we, ever, there, we better never have that many again. But um, <laughs> that was crazy. But, um, you know, again, he did a great job. He did a great job leading as well, coming to the sideline, letting us like offense is going to be okay. So, you know, going into this week with a banged up quarterback situation, just everything going on, he's done a great job of leading. And not only that, just going to get more reps and getting in the film. Like he was in the film room Sunday, you know, while he watching USC tape. So, you know, I think it, whoever's back there, when whoever's healthy on Saturday, will be back there, be ready to go. But, you know, uh, you know it's been good. He's done a great job. Is there any extra juice being that it is USC? Uh, for me, yeah, absolutely. But um, I, I think it, just in general, it's our first conference game. You know, you're playing the number five team in the country. They're coming to your house. So, you know, I think it's just one of those times that gives us, like, you know what, why not? Like, why not go shock the world? So, you know, it's definitely exciting for all of us. For me personally, obviously, I'm going against like, my old staff that even got me into college football in the first place. So it definitely means a lot to me to go in this game and have a good game. So, you know, I'm excited for uh, what the game plan is and everything. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be really fun. Obviously, USC has a you know, really strong offense, really talented team. Is it kind of, you know, are you guys aware of the fact that maybe, um, you know, you guys are going to have maybe longer drives and try and keep your defense fresh on the sidelines versus just kind of going in and out repeatedly? Um, I mean, I think we're just going to go play. You know, at the end of the day, yeah, they have one of the best offenses in the country, but, you know, every team has a weakness at some point. You know, it's not one of those things that, you know, USC obviously – they lost to Utah twice last year, so obviously stuff that they do, you obviously we want to see if we can replicate some of that stuff. But I think at the end of the day, we're just going to go out there and play. We trust our defense. The defense has, you know, had, we had a conversation as an offense and a defense. Obviously, the offense has been doing well, but we just had a conversation with like, hey, it's coming. And Coach Dillingham was kind of uh, assuring us of the same thing. So, you know, I'm excited to, you know, get out there and just be around them. I think, you know, obviously slowing Caleb down is going to be a huge part. But I think in terms of just, you know, if it's firepower versus firepower, then, like, let's go. If it's a 70 to 70 game, then let's do it. If it's a 13 to 13 game and let's do it so I think we're just gonna go out there and play and uh, do our job and you know coaches have a great game plan for us.
Jen, uh, your guys' defense has been really good despite the results of the last few games, especially against Fresno State. So can you speak to that, and then how do you motivate the offense to get better? Yeah, I mean, our defense has done an amazing job. What are they, 23rd in the country, almost somewhere around there? I mean, that's I mean incredible, you know, when you think about that and you think of how many college football teams are. And then on the offense side of things, we're one of the worst in the country right now. So, you know, it's just one of the things that we, we got to pick up, and it's like, what is, at this point, what can we lose? You know, we might as well go out there and do what we can as an offense. You know, we had an offensive meeting. I was talking with Dillingham and Coach B, just got kind of about a game plan of what we want to get done. And obviously, having guys banged up in that Fresno game State, Fresno State game was tough. But you know, coming back to this week, have a, we have a bunch of guys back and trying to get healthy. So I think it's going to be good. I think we're going to go out there and put a really good offensive performance out there. Like we, we honestly, we have to. We don't really have a choice. So you know, Coach Dillingham has came up with a good plan. You know, getting out here, running in practice today, it was it was fun. It was uh, we got a lot done. So I'm excited. But I think it's just motivating everybody. I think it just gets everybody going, knowing that hey, the defense is right there. So the offense, like, all right, we want to get up there too. Is there a player or matchup in particular that you're keyed in on specifically in terms of someone in their secondary who's going to be uh, aligned with you more often than not or in, in the linebacker? Um, I wouldn't say key necessarily. I mean, I mean, I'm whoever's guarding me, you know, my my job is to get open and know, obviously make it to where they can't guard me. Like I always say, put a linebacker on me, I'm going to be too fast. You put a DB on me, I'm going to be too big. So that's kind of my mindset. I mean, I'm obviously I'm excited to play Eric. You know, me and Eric came in together here. So, you know, getting to see him like once a year is going to be fun get to cool we play against them we talk a lot of crap to each other and then afterwards like we're brothers again so that's gonna be a fun matchup for sure just be around him and stuff but in, I'm excited to play this defense in general I think we have a good chance to you know do some things that you know not necessarily everyone outside of you know in the locker room is believing right now so I'm excited you mentioned uh, you know, Utah and how USC lost them twice and Dillingham has brought Utah and showed you guys clips of that in the preseason are you guys you know watching their film uh, from last year on USC and going over some of their strong suits and uh, their game plan yeah, I think we're watching a bunch of it. I think, you know, just every game in general. Like, I mean, when you watch, when you think of the San Jose State game, how many points they put up, you see that, you know, their defense is, you know, able to have some looks at where they can give up points. So, you know, I think in the day it's just going to be a, trying to do a good job of us just, you know, exploiting what they don't do well. Excuse me, sorry. Um, oh, I had a burp. Sorry, dang. Um, but, yeah, no, I mean, I just exploiting what they don't do well and, you know, trying to do their best to, you know, get the balls in the hands of our weapons and go make plays. Um, you know, the offense, I mean, we have we've been a little frustrated. It's been a little, you know, it's been a grind trying to figure out what's going on and how we're going to fix it. But as of right now, we're good. I mean, I think we came out here, we had a good day, you know, coming tomorrow, kind of put in a new third down and a goal line game plan together. So, uh, yeah, I'm excited for what the offense holds. You know, Coach Dilly obviously is a lot more uh, involved this, uh, and was a lot more involved today with the offense side of things. So I'm excited to see where it goes. That's that. The uh, San Jose State game in particular, they gave up, I think, 198 rushing yards. Is, is that some of the things that you were referencing in terms of some, some weak points potentially because they also had, had a tough one against that. Yeah, I just mean everything. I mean when you look at I mean when you look at the skill side of things when you got Scat back there, you got Te you guys like Tevin and obviously you got the receiver group, tight end group, I think obviously our skill guys are gonna be able to match up well. Um, I think they're a really good I mean they're a really good defense with really talented players. I think, you know, just in terms of the scheme, you know, it's a good way to you know a good way to attack it. And I mean obviously me being in Grinch's scheme once before I kind of mm -hmm. seen what it's like and you know when it gets to the scout team stuff like that when I was a freshman. So yeah. I kinda it's kinda cool and like interesting to like be able to watch film and go oh yeah I remember how they used to run that defense da 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 so you know it's cool but you know I think it's gonna be one of those things we're gonna again we're just gonna try to exploit everything that they do I mean they're obviously a good team they're our number five, the te five team in the country for a reason but we're gonna try to uh, you know have them make mistakes and, you know take advantage of it it's family weekend top five team coming in how uh, important do you think the crowd is in this game and do you think they can make an impact? Man, the crowd is huge every game, but this one especially, obviously, you got family weekend coming in. Hopefully, it's going to be a packed stadium. You know, obviously, the fans are, I mean, shoot, I would be too. The fans are frustrated, obviously, what's been going on. You know, put, when, when was the last time we got shut out? 1988 or something? So, you know, it sucks. It sucks to see that when you, you know, when we don't have fans dang near the whole second half. But, you know, it's just one of those things where we got to make it, we got to give them a reason to stay. So, you know, going into this game, obviously, I hope all the fans come out. Hope they come, you know, support. Obviously, it's family weekend. Like, there's a lot of things you can do on a Saturday, but you know, coming to that stadium Saturday night is definitely going to be something that hopefully we can look forward to. And uh, I guarantee, if that place is rocking, USC is going to have a hard time, you know, dealing with us. Cool. Thanks, Appreciate it.